In the late 1980s, Colombia was reeling from violence, corruption, and terrorism, all from insurgent groups and drug traffickers. A student-led movement called We Can Still Save Colombia fought back. Its biggest demand? A constitutional assembly to replace the constitution written 100 years earlier. It was a way for the people to say, if Congress can't do it, let's forget about Congress and elect a new democratically elected organization such as the Constitutional Assembly that will have the power to pass the reforms that Congress and the government hasn't been willing to do. Colombian Senator Claudia López was 18 at the time. She recalls how the Colombian government resisted calls for a new constitution. <laughs> Students responded, calling for citizens to vote in the March 1990 legislative elections. The Septima Papeleta campaign asked voters to deposit an extra seventh ballot that called for a constitutional assembly. The unofficial count, more than 2.2 million votes in favor of it. All that pressure forced the government to decide, yes, this seems to be the only way out. We need to find a legal way to request a constitutional assembly. Legal y política. By the end of 1990, the Colombian people had elected a national assembly. It was tasked with creating a new constitution in 150 days, and they did. The new constitution was ratified in 1991. It was considered a progressive document, defining a citizen's basic rights to health and education. I was Minister of Health before the Constitution of 91 existed, and only 37 percent of Colombians had some type of health care. Now, 96 percent of Colombians have health, thanks to that Declaration of Rights. Antonio Navarro Wolf a former M-19 guerrilla and now senator of Colombia, was co-president of the National Assembly that drafted the new constitution. He says the constitution's greatest gift to the people was a way to formally protest when their rights are violated. They even have the rights to go in front of a judge to have them make sure their rights are respected. In five days, the judge has to issue a decision to make sure rights are being guaranteed. Today, Claudia Lopez is leading a similar movement to pass anti-corruption laws. She says the seventh ballot victory has been her inspiration throughout her campaign. So 25 years later, I am in the same situation. I am in a political system that has been delegitimized, marked by corruption, and a Congress that doesn't want to pass needed reforms. But now I have a tool called Popular Consult that has been in the Constitution since 1991, that has never been used. So I'm saying let's use it. This is the last tool we have left. Showing that when Colombians want change, they can achieve it without guns. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Colombia.